everyone for being here in the land, land of entanglement, as well as a quantum state. I'm Mike Rabin. I'm from Los Alamos National Laboratory. And I just want to take a minute here to uh, introduce some of our leadership who uh, are here today. The first is uh, Dr. Mark Chadwick, who is our head of uh, uh, Associate Laboratory Director for Theory, Simulation, and Computing. Uh, he's a nuclear physicist by training and has been involved in a lot of the simulation and computational efforts that are very important to Los Alamos. Uh, speaking this morning will be uh, Dr. Ellen Serretta, who is our Associate Laboratory Director for Physical Sciences. So look at those two things together. It's what Ivan was teaching us in lesson one. So I'm helping you remember for the quiz later today. It is physical sciences plus information sciences coming together in the same we are all way we are all coming together here. So uh, Ellen Serretta uh, is a material scientist. Uh, she has been the past president of the uh, TMS, which used to be called the Metal, Metals, Minerals, and Materials Society, an important international scientific society. Previously served as our uh, division leader for material science and technology, which Im has important responsibilities in Los Alamos uh, material science for our primary missions and has extensive research in other areas. Uh, and last note here, uh, she's widely involved in areas of advanced manufacturing across the country and in specific uh, in partnership with all of our New Mexico partner institutions. So uh, Ellen, floor is yours. Thank you so much for that introduction, Mike. And thank you to the organizers of this event. This is really a beautiful event and a beautiful place and I'm happy to be here. I want to apologize that my colleague Mark Chadwick was not able to make it this morning, so I will do my best to represent both him and I and um, really underscore the priority that Los Alamos wants to place as being a partner in Quantum New Mexico. I think this room and the um, audience in this room really underscores how important quantum technologies and the priority set for quantum science is on the national landscape. And that's not to be outdone by the comments of our Senator, as well as what we're seeing flow down in terms of the CHIPS Act, as well as the National Quantum Initiative. We know that the reason for that is that we see, as our Senator just mentioned, that quantum is probably going to be key to economic security, which is a reason why it makes sense for labs like Sandia and Los Alamos to be involved, not just because of the fundamental science questions that are associated with quantum technologies, which are at the heart of the work that we do, but that national security aspect is key to what the nation calls upon us to do every day. With regard to that, these problems or the, the science questions being asked in quantum technologies, as you all well know, are really hard. These are some of the toughest technical challenges facing us. And there's questions that we're not going to answer all by ourselves. It's really going to take partnership across the entirety of the United States, academia, industry, national labs to address these problems. And it's why this kind of event, this kind of um, engagement is so important and Los Alamos is eager to be a partner here. Los Alamos, just like Sandia, has invested broadly in scientific and engineering capabilities that are of value to this kind of work, specifically in theory, computing, material science, and physics. And in the area of quantum alone, we really have to my count, although I'm sure a few folks in this audience might argue with me, invested our own indirect dollars to the tune of about $100 million over the last 10 years. This is a significant investment, and that does not include the direct investments that have been made in quantum science at Los Alamos. That allows us really to be a good partner, not only leveraging our history, and I'm not going to go over the history that was so beautifully presented earlier this morning, that timeline is something that I would like to get a hold of. <laughs> so thank you very much. And um, but it also is shaping who we are in the present day with regard to how we're thinking about providing better access points to all of those stakeholders to the capabilities at Los Alamos 
key among them are our user facilities. We are, of course, partners with Sandia National Lab and the Center for Integrated Nanotechnologies, and that is a terrific access point to the laboratories, as well as we are host to the Pulse Power piece of the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory and another important place for quantum research. Finally, we are the home to the LANCE facility. That's an NNSA user facility that brings together the use of proton, or accelerates protons and also generates neutrons for doing important physics and uh, material science types of research. With regard to that though, one of the reasons why we're so interested in being part of Quantum New Mexico is we see that the broader partnership in, in this arrangement allows us to be better partners with business and really tr help transition some of these important scientific discoveries to industry, as well as be part of the workforce development that is being talked about in terms of education that is so key to making sure that we really can capitalize on the scientific gains that we are making today in the area of quantum. So in closing, and because I'm sitting between you and the break, and um, I wanna say Los Alamos is really eager to be a partner here in the state of New Mexico in the area of quantum research. We wanna be a good partner and we plan to continue to invest our strategic priorities, demand it, and we hope to bring that to this collaboration. Thank you.